We're back with Shannon Luce Redman, the OTR Pro Quiz. You're a one for two as we head to question three. All right. All right, here we go. Margaret Marshall is the only woman to serve as the Chief Justice of the Massachusetts Supreme Court. She is not a native of the United States. Where is she originally from? South Africa, Australia, or New Zealand? South Africa. She was born in Newcastle, and as a student activist, she fought against the apartheid system. So you are a Brookline resident. So let's finish up with a Brookline question this All morning. Right. Lars Anderson Park is a beautiful 64-acre public space that is also the home of a museum that contains a unique collection of what? Steam engines? Automobiles or lighting fixtures? Automobiles. The Lars Anderson Museum has the oldest collection of motocars here in the United States. You are very nice, three for very tidy, three very for four. Well. Very well. When you good. come back next time, you'll get them all. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll work on that. So one of your uh, early victories was against a pizza chain. Um, you even opened your own pizzeria to prove that you can treat employees properly and make money. You closed it, however, after about four years, I think. It was just under four years. Is running a business harder than folks think? Uh, I think that was a that was a fabulous experience I had. The uh, yeah, the situation was the Upper Crust Pizza Chain. Uh, the case I had against them on behalf of immigrant workers ran them into bankruptcy. So I so I bought the Harvard Square location and renamed it the Just Crust to right. show that we could have a fair workplace for workers. I, and I think that gave me a very interesting perspective. So I've learned. I, I know how to run a small business. My law firm is a small business, so I I know. Did you make money doing it? Um, we, you know, we did we did okay, um, and we were able you to made treat a profit the work, after four years. We were able to treat the workers fairly. We, we it was a great experience. My day job kind of got in the way after <laughs> a little while, but uh, I, I was very proud of what we were able to do over those four years. Is, is that why you get out the day job? Is that what gets you out? <laughs> uh, I want the, the U.S. Senate obviously has been deadlocked over many issues over the last over the last years. I'll go over the last four particularly. What four? formula or idea could you put on the table that you think could move the body and thereby move Congress as a whole forward? Um, so I think there is so much that we need to be focused on today because because we're a country in crisis right now. I think working people are under attack. Women are under attack. We need to be ready with big, bold changes for when the Democrats take back the Senate. Um, I've had people say to me, yes, we need to take back the Senate, which we do. Uh, and I've had people say, and when we take back the Senate, we need Shannon there because we need to have, we need to be ready with big structural change, not just nibbling around the edges change. So if you went in there and, and, and President Trump gets reelected, is the, is the president a roadblock in your opinion? Well, obviously, we have a lot of fighting we need to do. We need to get him out of the White House. But I have to say that the message that I have been talking about as I've been traveling around Massachusetts and talking about what we need to do to bring power back to working people, this is a message that resonates across the spectrum. I, I have clients who voted Republican, who even voted for our president. and. They don't like being screwed over by their employer in the workplace, and they like what I have to say, and they like that I but have stood up to corporate America. And I think there are changes that need to be made. And I and I am afraid that the Democrats have lost out on the conversation of capturing uh, the voice of working people. I, and I and I think we need to take that back, and that's what I want to go to Washington to do. But do you acknowledge that even with your election, unless the Democrats take back the Senate, a lot of what you want to do probably won't get done? Well, I think we need to be pushing forth the agenda, uh, and I think we need to be making the voices of working people loud and clear and heard. And I think that I think there's a lot that we can be doing. We need to take back the Senate, but I think there's a lot we can be doing now to push forward that that language, that agenda, and and be ready to get legislation passed as soon as we have the opportunity. Because we can't fritter time away. As soon as we have that opportunity, we need to be ready. Shannon Liss Reardon, who's a candidate for Senate here in Massachusetts, will will challenge Ed Mark. On the in the primary, at least as we look forward from here, the, we appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. The Thanks. round table is next here on OTR, and Elizabeth Warren about to get her first shot at Joe Biden head to head, face to face, however you want to term it. So, how big is this week's Democratic debate? We'll discuss straight ahead with the round table.